All right, okay. This episode is sponsored by. I know. This episode is sponsored by Freeze Pipe. All right. Use code FOO for 10% off anything in the store at the freezepipe.com. That's the freezepipe.com. Promo code FOO for 10% off. Sorry, I'm slow, bro. Somebody hit me with a hit with a freeze pipe. <laughs> You're freezing with those freeze pipe hits. That's how cold they are. Coming down that chamber, out that chamber. What's up, fool? Don't yeah. try to what up? Don't try to What's up, fool? What's up, everybody? Martin Rizzo right here, man. Woo! Looking like we're with haircut, man, from <laughs> Save by the Podcast. That's Cobra Kai Rizzo. <laughs> we got Ro- Rodrigo right here on the side yeah, right man. here, chilling. What's happening? Oh, we, have, we have Fred Stoller. Thank you, Fred Stoller, for showing oh, up. What up, Thank bro? Thank you. What's up, fool? Man, what's, thank you for showing up, man. Up? I know you've been, you've been very busy lately, man, with oh. the... Patreon. Oh, I got cameo. My, well, I got my cameo. cameo, you know, because it's, you know, I only charge $35. But, you know, you know, sometimes, <laughs> though, I, you know, I, you know, I have to do to pronounce someone's name from Dubai and, you know, they, they only give me one star. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's good. It's a good work. It's, you know, it's, it's a Postmates money, you know. <laughs> it's him. It's him. Well, you still fighting with the real Kramer? Oh, oh, just like, oh, I just get so upset sometimes, you know, when people say that, you know, you're, you're skinny, but you're not long, but you're, you're tall, but you're not this or that. And, you know, an Ari Shafir, this and bro, that, you know, just, you know, you know, I'm lucky enough to get a pension. I can, you know, get a, you know, a piece of candy or, you know, a, a bottle of water. Fred, uh- I heard that you, you when you first started doing stand-up comedy, you used to throw the N-word a lot. Oh, oh. You know, oh, oh, but just I was so upset back then. I didn't understand <laughs> the other side of the coin. and the other, Easy, Michael Richards. You know, other different races and different nationalities. You know, I'm a, I'm a Jewish man from, you know, I, it doesn't matter where I'm from, but, you know, it's... it's, it's you know, it's it's. I, Wait you know. a minute! Hey, what's oh, going on here? What the hell? Hey. This guy has been going on every podcast saying he's me, talking racially and. Whoa! <laughs> An imposter. Whoa. That's not what him. Oh shit! I thought you got fat, you bro. <laughs> How did you think that was me? You seem a little thick. All right, seriously. I'm not moving. No, say, no I'm gonna, I'll say it. <laughs> I'll tell you what's really going on. What is going on, Mr. What is Stroke? going on here, man? The truth is. Do tell. I'm going, I'm a little, this is my last Wait till you get to the microphone. <laughs> okay. I'm two Fred Stollers. Uh, now, the two Freddies. all you keep talking about is the pension. Like, like I didn't get ice cream and pizza before I had a pension. It's all about I mean, dollars and cents. You know, I wouldn't get it every day. Put the day. microphone, um, Fred, too. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't get it every day, you know. Maybe I get a you know a pint of ice cream once a like week this? or something, you know. Yeah, but I wouldn't I get <laughs> strawberry because I always get strawberry, you know. It's it's strawberry, you know. Good for the teeth. I don't sound like that. I uh, ex- no, I don't. What was what escort was like getting here? Oh, it was just oh, I get so upset, you know, when I have to go over Laurel Canyon, you know, because you get all those turns and dips and. You know, they never fix the roads, you know. And then Waze is, just makes you go round and round, you know. I thought I was at a disco, you know. And <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fool. He's having fun. Hey, so, well, all right. See, what I want to really try to do is I'm taking a, a, a break from podcasts. And maybe you could pretend to be me so I don't have to do it. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going on, a sabbatical? Yeah, yeah, it's just, you know... I've, I he's, going to, he's going to beer, bro. He's writing poetry now, bro. I do Postmates. <laughs> I don't need... A, he's like Rain Man. Yeah, Postmates, Postmates. <laughs> Am I... I... 
<laughs> then I went to eat some Thai food, which is just too <laughs> hot for me, you know. You know, I'll tell them, they'll say, I'll say, you know, they'll say five is the hottest. And I just, you know, I'll say, you know, maybe two or, you know, two maybe. You know, I'll go with two. You well, still hanging out at the Grove, Freddie? Oh, but I just, you know, because everybody's at the Grove and it's six feet apart and everyone's got a mask and then they got these, you know, these dancing p baby pandas this time of year. I don't know why you would have pandas, you know. What is he talking about? <laughs> am, I, am I this, this incoherent? What's up, Food Podcast? What's up, people? We got um, Jeff Richards here, man. In the we house. had him on Zoom. He you know, he killed people. it. He's the man of a thousand voices. Rodrigo oh, yeah. Torres, a man of a hundred voices. I could imitate More like 40. him doing... Rizzo, a man of two voices. Dude. I could What's imitate him on? doing um, <laughs> Jeff Ross. Do it. What's up, everybody? How you doing? <laughs> you having a good time? What you tell your face? <laughs> That's how you do. What's up, everybody? <laughs> you having a good time? <laughs> oh, wow. What's this? What do you got this? What do you got? A pair of headphones? What are you? What are you looking lucky? <laughs> hey, Jeff, what what's the chicks? Face? Because the chicks are cool, man. Everything's cool. You have a good... I feel good, man. It's really nice. Everything's good. Well, what are you, uh, the uh, magician assistant? What are you... Are you having you, uh... a good time? Let, why don't you tell your face? <laughs> it's good to see you. Um, good to see you, man. How you been? I um, I was having dinner with uh, Jeff, and I was, I, w I was wondering something. Like, I, I stopped doing stand-up after opening for you and uh, Norm. Now... R.I.P. Yes. Now, since you were... He's, he augmented it. I don't want to say anything bad about Norm. You know, because it was weird. You're, like, doing some big place. I feel like I'm doing the impression of him. <laughs> They're cheering. Him they know me from Seinfeld, from my Kindle. And, and then I, I get a check. It's $100. It, it's like... Has this been 30 years, it seems, $100 for the middle? Has that not changed? That's not changed, huh, bro? No, no, that's it, a standard, bro. It's been $100 bro. for, like, since uh, when I quit, like, in 1993. I know a club that plays 50. <laughs> How about <laughs> Tommy T? What did that play, bro? If you're not coming with me. I hear that. If you're not going with you and the headliner is giving you extra money, it's $50 spot. $50 for a $50. feature. Right? I think even, like, $50 for a Tuesday well, headliner. When I worked with Norm um, at Irvine, that was... Uh, they were all, like I said, like Chuck E. Cheese's. They all look the same. The same yeah. place. Same, uh, cookie same cutter ball. Bullshit. Same pizza. Do some Norm, bro. Complain about same. that game. But the yeah. mouse is the mouse is the club owner, though. <laughs> <laughs> They're all yeah, very Mickey Mouse. A, so, stop being a sissy, So when Fred. I did the, uh, and I opened Get for Norman here. Irvine, it was like, what? Well, that's, 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 uh, if I had the Friday second show is bad or something, because um, they are all getting up early for church or something. Well, like, <laughs> And uh, but I remember this guy. Uh, I won't say his name. But, uh, Norm. <laughs> no, the, the the opener who emceed. He was Dean uh, Del Rey. No, well, Keith Resner. All right. <laughs> and uh, Be Barry and Sobel. He's there, uh, the and hamburger. His whole, his whole act is he's autistic, and I'm not making fun, but that's what he does. And then I get up there. They go, another guy doing the same shtick. They go, oh. That's his father. I'm and it, and it wasn't working. They go, he was better. This it's guy a sponsor, was It wasn't working. These people. <laughs> so then, and he's there. He's cheering. He works at Ralph's and all his people Let's, are there. We'll and then he gets, he the gets a check. Uh, my check is $50 more. You know what I mean? Because he, he opened and I middled. So Never told, hey, Norm, this is a little light over I here. I stopped doing stand-up comedy. It's a, you made it less Mickey Mouse. He was I know, it's getting, <laughs> less getting, Mickey Mouse. Hell yeah, bro. It's getting bad out there, bro. Paul Rodriguez opened up for somebody. They didn't get paid. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's... it's Word a, on the street. You know, I, I, I it's a fact. What the, what the lowest you got paid for comedy, uh, Martin Rizzo? Um, Thank you for coming out. Beer? <laughs> beer? Lowest is nothing, dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I've gotten paid nothing. How about when they told you dollars, there was going to be a budget? Though, dollar figures. Ooh. Five, five dollars, ten. No, he can tell us paid me five bucks. Five dollars, you know. Five I, I got it. Five bucks. Jeez, in nineteen seventy, it was ten. They split it. They threw it on the floor. <laughs> well, actually, we in nineteen seventy-six. Oh, no, no, when maybe seventy-eight or eighty. Um, the first time I ever got paid, it was unbelievable because it was like fifteen dollars. 
getting paid, you know what I mean? It was like, it was the first time, and I couldn't believe it. I wasn't expecting it. And it was like a Chinese restaurant in New Jersey, and I keep thinking I'm doing the same cadence. Do I really sound like this? It's scary. I'm hearing myself. I'm, <laughs> hey, you got a piece of pizza. Don't worry about it, man. We, we got a listener who don't know what cadence is. <laughs> yes. uh, Those are good they're, candies, though. They're looking you know, it up right now. It's uh, so like, my mom um, Candace. who's Candace? So, so I used to like uh, <laughs> call him. I, I'd have to call my mother. I was still living at home. Stop she said, I'm coming here. home late. It's so late. I go, I just got, <laughs> I just got paid $15. It's amazing. <laughs> You'll get killed coming home on the train. Father You'll come home in a shop. box. <laughs> That's what she used to say. But <laughs> what year was that? Jeff Richard. Oh, oh my God, bro. That's Jeff Richard will tell you right now that at the improv, the comedy store, if you ain't at the fucking uh, main room, it's $15 still. Or twenty five, yeah. It was fifteen when you were there, right? <laughs> yeah. It was fifteen when I was there, bro. Fifteen dollars, and I think Spot. when they went, when they did the the comedy strike to get to get actually get paid, it was zero. They 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 made 51. it to fifteen dollars. They have not changed it. Interesting. Actually, fifteen bucks in nineteen eighty. Now it will be. Fifty one dollars, dude. In crypto, my. my <laughs> well, I mean, for fifteen dollars, you could get groceries at Trader Joe's. You <laughs> could get you know, those English muffins. You could freeze them for later. <laughs> Fruit roll ups. It's uh, hey, well, hey, Fred. Uh, how about that one time, Fred, when you were at walking around um, Tampa, oh, Arizona, looking for soup? There was no soup. Oh, I thought you were gonna say hooker. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's another story. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was, you know, I was Get in Tempe. Bro. It was this Tempe, right? You know, it's a desert. You know, people are diff <laughs> with different, smaller clothes. A lot and of things. swingers. So I had a there. pair of bikini bottoms on, and you know, <laughs> I was just looking for some fun. No, no. What really well, happened was I had food poisoning the day before, and every day, <laughs> don't even every eat. day in Tempe, all I would do is what's it called, Mister Chang's or something? I'd go, whatever the generic Chinese restaurant was, and have soup. P.F. Chang, Chang, yeah. Walk for, for soup every day. Yeah. I, uh, soup. Yeah. Hot soup in Arizona? Damn. Time. It's. Oh, I mean, not just any soup. You know, you get the, you know, the egg drop soup, or you could get, you know, miso soup, or, you know, you could just get broth. If you ask the guy, you could say, can I just have the broth? You know, you know, just the broth, and you could charge me for a miso soup. Fresh told her for soup at that pizza parlor. The owner said, yeah, come back on Friday. My mom's making some. <laughs> <laughs> it was spit. You know, I have a Felipe kind of joke about this place. <laughs> you know what it looks like? It look this fool Man, what this place looks like okay. is in Breaking Bad, the storage <laughs> area. Remember that in Breaking Bad? Yeah. This looks like the storage area, man. <laughs> and, and, and what about what do you have to say about uh, the storage, Jesse? Right, storage, right? Yeah. Space for your shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Bitch. That's good, huh? <laughs> good as fuck. And uh, like, uh, you know, speak o English or whatever shit. <laughs> I want a burrito. Give me an impersonation okay? of what you know, bro. Give me an Italian guy, bro. Casarich. Hey, pepperonis. <laughs> Get Luigi over He's here. He's got a genius, bro. Maddie. Hey, uh, Freddy, uh, whatever, Freddy. Didn't your mom go to the same bakery as Andrew Dice Clay's mother? Well, do you want his story or mine? You go first. Both stories. I'm going to hear your story about it. My mother goes to the same bakery as Andrew Dice Clay's mother in Brooklyn. I heard him. <laughs> Chuck and Jim. I think my mother was very... <laughs> My early part of my childhood was very <laughs> difficult because my mother would always take all of my things and put them under the bed. This is sort of true. And, uh, and you know, I <laughs> sort of developed this weird thing of just feeling like they, everything is under the bed, you know. So, you know, for now, I, I feel good, you know, because I don't have to worry about, you know, my bed and putting things under it. So my mother's dead. So, you know, I might, I might put things under it, you know. So well, the, the, truth, the truth is... That when I was growing up, my mother didn't like that I played with G.I. Joe's. You don't remember, but G.I. Joe's used to be this big. You could take off their pants? Yeah. They, what? Oh, you remember? <laughs> no. And she said only... You were, she, what happened? They had a crew cut and a scar. A and a buzz, a buzz cut, cut and a scar. And my mother you know, didn't the on Turkey she with goes, there's something wrong with Freddie. Uh, he plays with dolls. Guy, They're not dolls, man. I know. She, she, and then when I, I went to the sleep, Dutch white man camp, will say they're dolls. And I came home and my mother threw out all my G.I. Joe's. She thought there was something wrong with me that I was playing with dolls. That was the real story. I gave the how, how about your, what your mom say about the Dice Man's mom? Okay, so my mother didn't like uh, 
Andrew Dice Clay's mother. She was very pushy and nervy. Who's not gonna like my ma? She she pushed ahead of everyone, everyone online that she thought she was entitled to push ahead because it was Andrew Dice Clay's Bamboo. mother. What what city was this in? Brooklyn. Oh, what well, the fuck is going on <laughs> here? Jack and Jill yeah. took a pill. Right. Well, took this is the why bread up the hill. I am met the... Pearl with the salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> right, he, he's challenging oh. you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, he, um, he's a nice Jewish boy. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. No, oh, uh, my the, mother's actions, right? <laughs> oh no, no, that pushy, that I, right? That's I the word. I wasn't brought up with pushy people. My mother, Excuse well, two me. things she said. She goes, I was, I don't like uh, pushy, nervy people. I resent them because I wish I could be pushy she's and nervy. The base, and I then know. when I was in Dumb and Dumber. Classic. Um, you know parent, who my mother is? That's the fucking prom queen of sheep size bag. Royalty over no, there. No, I actually thought it was Tony Soprano. <laughs> <laughs> sounded like James Gunn. Those are me. Those are those those are like That's tales, Gunn. right? Yeah, good. That's movies. <laughs> this is reality. Is it dueling Freds or dueling impressionists? <laughs> oh, oh, I just oh, get so <laughs> upset. Who am I gonna you know? smack? Right? <gasps> That's the question. <laughs> To smack or not to smack? You know, it's finally I can see you. <laughs> you know, we could air our differences. You know, I know my mother was, you know, probably a pain in the ass at the time. I'm going to get know. Rogan to put you in an armhole or something <laughs> like that. Okay? You could put me in handcuffs, but I'll still be <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> Give us some Joe Rogan, bro. Joe Rogan. I said the N-word in context. <laughs> <laughs> context! <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. It's not like Mr. Right Poopy uh, uh, head bro. from uh, I don't Rick understand. Uh, well, I don't like. But you don't know, you he doesn't understand? Like a, I don't like all the bro. Joe Didn't Rogan you walk up to Joe Rogan one time? He he, oh, yeah, he, yeah, walked, yeah, he, no, he looked yeah. at you well, like you want to be on the show. He asked you for the well, protein What happened powder, was huh? like I got into weed late in life, you know, <laughs> and uh, old timer. And uh, they had like the speed weed, you know, at the time. Geno's right. Geno's was backstage at the. Uh, Comedy store. World famous. And, and, you were calling it weed grass, huh? Well, well, I was, you know. Reefer. I, I guess Speedweed, Victor, whatever his name is, Gino, invited me back there. Speedweed. And I'm like, I'm, I became the guy, ooh, free joints, putting them in the pocket. <laughs> like, that's so Rizzo. Yeah, but D. Like, uh, so I said. Well, go ahead. I so I said to Gino, uh, no? I said to Joe Rogan, I said, thank you. Uh, you help destigmatize and, you know, uh, weed. And because you would have a dude like this, uh, this fucking guy. I, I thought you were Phil he Silverstein. Thought, he thought I was one of the stragglers hanging out for the strippers and the weed, which show, maybe dude. I was. Were there strippers? Uh, there were strippers, yeah. There were strippers. New York strippers? There were lots of strippers. You know, I remember one that would, she would smoke from her toes. <laughs> she could smoke from her toes, not even bring it to her lips. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs lips when you got toes? Right? Friend, <laughs> you're wearing a goatee. What's going on, bro? You're looking at Uncle Rico and shit. <laughs> I'm Tom Selleck. <laughs> you know, it's my hiatus retirement. Tommy look. Selleck. The pension, right? Why shave? The dollars. You cut yourself. You're still going to audition with a goatee? Oh, I, nah, I just had some voiceovers, but no, I worked a few weeks ago for the first time since she the pandemic. Good, man. But but then I had a shave. I um. For, for a voiceover? No, no, I oh. did two real jobs. <laughs> I just shaved my nuts for the voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I shaved my nuts. Of course, you have to lift up. You have to lift the nuts up, you know, and then it's the hard shed. at first because it's clumpy, yeah. you know, and it's it's hard to go down to the sink, you know. I'll explain a, a smooth dolphin. We're getting... <laughs> well, a flip roll here. Right? <laughs> he, um... Yeah, so bro, first Stoller, I was very shocked and surprised when I he was he was like he was bumping me to the side. Hey, you got any um like we were like we we're like we we're gonna go smoke each other bucket of school high school locker room or the bathroom. He goes, You have any uh, a vape head or something? Then he goes, I have a joint. He said, I have a joint went outside. I didn't want to give it up. Yeah. I need it for later, but it's gone now. <laughs> I, I need it to sleep. I'm a bad sleeper. I needed the money. <laughs> a bad sleeper. Uh, yeah. Or you gonna roll you one up before you leave? Yeah, man. Yeah. So yeah. So, so first of all, I didn't even know that he he was like he he smoked or did edibles till he went to Arizona. 
<clears throat> and that one night we were smoking, you know, just us. It was just us at first. Well, tell, remember and the, the s- guy that looked like the Mexican Dom Herrera that threatened me? That was the second night, bro. That yeah. when we were doing dabs. Seinfeld guy. Domenico. And he had never done dabs. So it hit him hard. Like he was up to a four. And, uh, but, but this guy, this crazy ass Cholo, he went into the room and he said to you, to you, Fred, <laughs> hey, Seinfeld, come out here. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know the guy. You know, I was thinking maybe he bought one of my Kindles, you know. But, um, you know, I was upset. I was nervous. Earlier that day, I thought I saw a coyote, but it was just, it was a cat, you know. See, I think this is funny. And now he was... Um, this he, is funny even if you don't know who I am. He wanted you to sign their book. He sold, because you sold out in other books. Plus, they were fucking heavy to carry. Oh, it's you know. At a hernia. I would with the listen box. if I could do cameos all day long. I would, you know, thirty five dollars is a pretty good deal, and you Reasonable. can get a hold of me on my website. But you know, I I don't like pushing things. But you know, no. uh, you know, I'm just lucky enough to have a pension. You know, I can get you know a pair of uh, you know shoes if I want to get my color. I like you know. Things like well, actually, one of the treats. Even I did this before the pension. I'm kind of a schmuck. My parents never taught me anything. Uh, every time I try to shave, I cut myself. I don't know how, but there was a place. You're shaving with a knife, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like the, with the pandemic, before the pandemic, the where knife. you go and they shave you to put the hat towels on. And it mm, feels yeah. good. People said it feels good. I've had that one time, dude. Only once? For a movie. This, I went to the Santa Monica, and it was a real, real chubby white dude, right? And he smelled like that cream they put on your body. So, man, first, he just shaved it all off. He took everything off. Oh, first an electric. Then yeah, then electric. The towels, and yeah. then he... Um, put the he, hot towel. He, he put the hot towel. Then he put, like, the the, 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 the lather, the shaving cream, and he went with a, a big blade. Like, he had old a little school, blade, an old right? school blade, right? Yeah. He went... Damn. And it went like oh, that. Yeah. And then the hot towel for a long time, and he massaged my head. What was the massage for? That's old oh. school, bro. Massage oh, my head. Yeah, Let me tell yeah. you, bro. I think that if I would have said out a toothache, he would have probably pulled my tooth out, bro. I thought old school he was. That's, yeah, that's what they did, right? They used to cut off shit, right? They had, they had surgicalized infections. So when you insane. went to the barber, what happened to you, bro? I heard he um, plucked your eyebrows? Yeah, and you know, it suddenly his shorts were off. You know, he didn't have his shorts. On. <laughs> it was your party. You know, at first, it was okay. You know, I thought you know the guy's just airing his stuff out, but you know, <laughs> then I just took cover. You know, I got my wallet and I left. It was a luau. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> Fred, when you started the when you started um, in a hot, um stand-up comedy in um, New York, mm-hmm. was the improv open a, um, a many years or was it open ten yeah, years? Yeah, it was. Um, it opened I in started, '68, right? I, I had a false start in '75. Uh, I wait online. Then I did in '78. I'd hang out with Gilbert Gottfried. Um, uh, Seinfeld was there, and also, um, Where you know, who's ladies? trying stand up? Steve Buscemi, he called himself Stephen Buse. He did stand up, yeah, and I he, was a so his brother did too, no, right? Well, he was a performance artist. There's a great movie with Nick Nolte called Um. New DC York Cam. Stories. I love that movie. Where he was, Steve Buscemi was the performance artist that that w- w- dating Roseanne Arquette, and then they um, they saw he was a he tried stand up, but he he was skinnier than me, and he'd make muscles, and uh, it was not politically correct. Some of the things he did, did he goes, I'm the type of guy, you know, like to the wanderer, because I'm a rapist. I'm a ra- well, this was 1978, and sorry, Steve Buscemi. 18 bucks, maybe. I saw Steve Buscemi <laughs> Bush- Bush- one time, and uh, he go, cause they were asking him about stand-up comedy, and um, he asked him, why did you quit? He goes, when, when did you stop? Well, I started getting real acting roles, but yeah. then I, I got bumped by Paul Reiser. He killed it, and I was next, and I just said no. He was smart, yeah. He was bumped by Paul Reiser, and Paul Reiser went up and destroyed, and then he bombed right after. And he said, nah, I'm, I'm going to be an actor. Damn. Yeah. No, I... I he was, was part of a New York um, crew of actors, so because I saw a independent movie, and him... And this other guy were frolicking, you know, just dancing and running around like a crazy maniacs, sh- shooting shooting short films, like the, the way we do. Yeah, yeah the way we do, we do with um, the way but we do with TikTok. But back then it was more. Yeah. But different. they had, but they have money for a camera, and you know who the guy that was with him? It was that piece of shit guy that's on Sons of Anarchy, the fat ass dude. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. He has he's fat. He has long hair. He was smoking a cigarette one. Like yeah, that that Why guy. Why is he an asshole? In real life, he was smoking a cigarette outside the child the chavo. When I had Isaac, when Isaac was 
a little boy, a little toddler, we were having coffee at this coffee shop and he was smoking and the smoke was coming right inside the door and I asked him to stop. And he said, just go sit back down, lady, or whatever. Wow. Just, just I was punched to that. I, and, uh, yeah, I never forgot. So that guy, that guy from Santa Monica, he was in that film with Steve Buscemi, but they were young, dude. They were like in their 20s. Like, wow. And they were just running around, shooting films. I think Blondie was in another one. What, what, you, you were part of that art scene or you were, you were no, not there late? No, I wasn't part of any art or theater. Did you meet no, Basquiat? I never did no? theater. Or, I just, you know, was hanging out. At the like, improv. For the first two years, taking the D train all the way to Sheeps at Bay. My mother wouldn't sleep. You know, <laughs> because, you know, you're afraid he's going to get murdered, him. you know, on the train. <laughs> you murder on stage? She'd go, you'll come home in a box. Like, you get murdered. And they go, Mrs. Stoller. They ring the bell with the coffin because they bring you home in a box. What I was said, it like? You know, I'm not, I'm not going to come home in a box. I'll bring Jack in a box. Yay. What was it like, um, Fred, the first 1979, 1978, 80, 81, doing stand-up comedy? <laughs> Oh boy, you, you know it was it was back then. You could have you know a pe you could take peanut butter as a snack. You know no one would say anything. <laughs> take, you know, but you know I, I my little <coughs> wedges of apples and things, and I would make apples. friends with people. I would you know I would do favors for people. I would you know I would take a car to get the, you know gas in it, or I'd go you know take your girlfriend for a date. <laughs> That's one of my early jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know the first guy to do to say the first comedian to say um. You ever notice? No. David Brenner. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was a first observation. He was a first observation of community. You ever notice? You ever notice? Yeah, you ever notice? The Philly accent. What are you, crazy, Freddy? I think he started taking the newspaper on stage that, when, the, when, so when, when he got New hacky. York, the early New York days was the first comedy boom where you there were more like Spots than comedians, you didn't have to do the papering, the thing, handing out the things. The uh, barking. When you when you started stand up comedy, it was like, were all the shows comedians, or were there were there like, um, were they still burlesque? They they had singers. Pat Benatar still, right? started at still? Catch a Rising Star. Pat Midler, Love is well, a that was before me. Yeah. yeah, Tina Turner. <laughs> You know, I think uh, you know Crawley. John Bon Jovi came in when he was a teenager. Well, he was just hanging out at Catch a Rising Star. It was famous because in the oh, basement, gee. like you they did would coke. do coke and Belzer and Joe Piscopo got beat up by a mob guy. Did you ever hear that story? No, what, what happened? happened to Joe oh, Piscopo? I thought he was buff. There was a, f a famous story in the old days where and it's true. Joe Piscopo was the MC at the uh, Improv. I mean, I, I know and at the Catch. Catch where so he goes, hey, there was a guy named Johnny Rip who was like a mob guy. Johnny Rip. He goes, hey, we got the mobsters. Who so do we have here? Up. And he made a joke like, and the guy like uh, uh, broke Piscopo's nose, threw him down the steps. So that wasn't good. Damn. Yeah. Johnny well, Rip back then, bro, like, like, like it was tough to, there was Maybe not that many not insult comedians, bro. It was, it, um, but they had, uh, uh, and Belzer would go on stage high as a kite. Is that a good expression? Well, I, you, you know, he was. Yeah, and he, um, <laughs> he. This should be a podcast. Uh, I said just the two of us, Freddie yes. and Freddie, <laughs> and uh, Fred on Fred. So he, <laughs> they'd have piano players, and he would just sit, pretend to be Jagger, and just kind of was like masturbatory for forty-five minutes, just uh, singing uh, American Rescue, no, Emotional Rescue, and doing Jagger and the crooner. Just, but there was, it was in a, wasn't comedy; it was just him. Uh, just singing and with, with a band. You ever run into Jerry Lewis? I never ran into Jerry Lewis. Just I Rodney, mean, huh? What about we ran into Rodney Dangerfield? Oh, uh, you, you know, it was one of the greatest things in my life. He had done Young Comedian Special, you know, and I had a special relationship with Rodney. He, he would bring me chocolate milk. And, you know, just... <laughs> Why would he bring you chocolate oh, milk? Oh, because he knew one day I was going to have a pension and <laughs> I would enjoy these what small happened when you, things. What happened when you suggested um, jokes oh, for his show? All right, these are three, S three quick Rodney stories. Okay. Um, well, yeah, the first time... Excuse me, Rodney, bro. This guy's a I liar. auditioned for a uh, he. He used Audition to host for the, what? The young You're comedian rushed. special. So here he's back. <laughs> I auditioned Open the door, right? I auditioned in New York. Okay. All right, Jack Roy. <laughs> and I thought I did pretty good. The loser. And I go, what do you think? He goes, you're too low key, okay? And and someone Get said something here. very profound. He said, 
He goes, that's your euphemism for no. So anytime you hear you to this or that, it just means no. We're going another, another direction. It doesn't matter the reason. So then... Um, to reason. Oh, no, no. Before that, 1980, I was at the uh, Fort Lauderdale comic strip. And, um, and um, I, Eddie Murphy, right before it got Saturday Night Live. And um, I did my act, and it's sort of low-key and non-sequitur one-liners, you know. And he goes... You take too many liberties, okay? <laughs> that was the thing that uh, you liked that line. And do it again. You could do it better than that. All right. Then do <laughs> Rodney how you usually. How about when you were doing his um his um his special? You were suggesting like he was. Oh yeah, yeah. So no he respect. used to have those. He used to have those NBC specials with sketches. Do you remember that, or is that before your time? Oh boy! Oh no! <laughs> I need to get a nap. Oh, Gamnesia <laughs> now. Right. So so basically. I, ha I said, I went to him at the bar. I said, Rodney, uh, I have an idea. Like, you do like a sketch, you're a police homicide guy. You go, hey, I got no suspects, no suspects at all. And then you do one where, you, you know, you're a, work at a drugstore. I got no sucrets, no sucrets. You know, you work at a toy store. I got no puppets. I go, I, I have no need for this. So you could have it. He goes, I got no need <coughs> for that shit either. You should have told him, bro, you do a show in a Mexican, Mexico City. I got no chiclets. Yeah, See, he thinks it's funny. I don't know. <laughs> Get out of here. Did you ever meet Andy Kaufman? Get out of here. Yes, I have oh, a little shit. story about that. In New York? Not a lot. Yes. So <clears throat> I knew this guy uh, who wrote for Rolling Stone, and he did an article about Andy Kaufman. And I used to have a job handing out free CBS tickets, you know. Uh, At the Grove. For the, no, for no, the TV. New York by T <laughs> For the TV show? T -K no, TKTS is a thing in Manhattan. And back before, you know, whatever, surveys. TKS, that's in the middle of Manhattan, right yes. there in the... They, they, it's big now. They have chairs, they have a coffee shop now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you bought tickets for every show. So the only day job I had when I did comedy was uh, you give them, like, these things, you're a free show, free show at CBS, and all it is is they're seeing, like, uh, a rerun of Knott's Landing on a little TV like that, and they're filling out surveys. Mm -hmm. So, and you get a dollar for each person that goes. You write your name on the ticket... So I would lie. They go, is, it, is this the price is right? I go, this prizes because they give them pens at the end and stuff. And uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And uh, the one for him too. And um, so one time I see uh, not Rodney, Andy Kaufman, and I I said, hey Andy, I know Dave Hershey who wrote the article about you. So I'm not exaggerating for 45 minutes. Well, maybe that's maybe it's 25, but maybe 45. <laughs> but for See? a long time, Andy Kaufman is telling me how they raped him in the article. They just want him to be Latka, you know, how they're screwing him over. But he was doing it in a West Indian accent. So I wasn't going, what are you doing? So he's having this conversation how frustrated he is. But you're talking about like this. <laughs> they just want me to be Latka. They want me to be a cartoon. I, I can't do it the right way. But That's you remember cool, how it happened? It was surreal, you know, because, you know, <laughs> you know surreal. at that time, you know, I hadn't uh, really tried uh, psilocybin mushrooms, but, you know, this made me want to do drugs. You know, because it's like, you know, you know, for a guy like me, I'm a nice Jewish man, you know, doesn't know how to use Waze or Google Earth or whatever, you know. I just I just do Postmates and, you know, I hope for the best. <laughs> this, is, this is like me mixed with Rain Man, mixed with... Uh, we, we were at... Uh, Changes. Shiny's restaurant last night, and there was a guy sitting by himself with, like, a slicker and watching YouTube. And I go, that's, like, the, the character you're doing. It's, like, looks like that guy. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Everybody that came out to see us in Joliet, Illinois. It was 22 degrees, but you guys showed up. It was sold out. Thank you very much for showing up. We were only there for one day, and it felt like a week. It's fucking cold, hours. dude. It's, it was snowing. I never could get used to it. I don't like cold, dude. I like it. I like that. I don't nah. have a problem with it. I like, you know, I like to be hot, but I like to be cold. I just don't like to be like... I don't like when they have the tip line at 7-Eleven, you know, it's like. <laughs> no you want to be cozy, lines. huh, Fred? There's a the line where you tip. There's the line, it's, it's not, I don't know if it's 7-Eleven or it's, you know, <laughs> Ralph's or whatever. But I was at a place recently and it, there was a little line where I was supposed to tip. I said, what, you know, why am I tipping you, you know, am I. <laughs> to ensure prompt Dude, service. I was at La Vallarta. 
Al Valentine's Day. I love that place. And um, La Vallarta is like the Mexican Safeway in Vons. And um, on the way in, dude, it felt like I was at a rose parade. Like on the way into La, La Vallarta supermarket, every street vendor in Pacoima was out there that night. With the float? Flowers, flowers, <laughs> flowers, oh, flowers, flowers, Day. flowers. Dude, yeah. The whole street. And I went inside La Vallarta, dog. And um, they got everything there, dude. Dude, it's Hot insane. food. They have sushi too, bro. Yeah, bro. About a bunch of Russian ladies were in there, bro. They have Russian food now. Yeah, they're fucking making a... Uh, what's Russian food? Well, the, you know, like rice. <laughs> right, right. And, um, they have shrimp cocktails. Yeah, dude. Dude. Gelatina. Salsas. Fred, why don't you say dude to try Everybody to like drives in reverse yeah. there, bro. Why don't you try <laughs> to blend <laughs> in? <laughs> Everybody at the supermarket La Vallarta drives in reverse. Dude, it's fucking... I love that It's place. a war zone out there, Come dude. On, the parking lot. Anyways, so I'm leaving the supermarket, Blend right? In. I'm leaving the Stay supermarket, sick. and, um, and um, there was a, a woman that I, I almost hit. And I, went, I was going to yell out something real mean, like, you, you, whatever, right? But I held back. I said, you know, I Valen a, I it, a, it's Valentine's Day, so I'm going to be nice. I have a story about tipping. So I told her... I told her... Um, Happy Valentine's Day. Then she looked back at me and she said, Are you the guy yes. that does comedy? That's hard. You can't have road rage when you recognize him. <laughs> and I said, Yes, I am. She goes, You do a lot of good things for a lot of people. But God bless you. Yeah. I love you. And I, but I wanted to tell her, All right, move out the way. You're still blocking traffic. So, no, no. What I was going to say is song, huh? like a two part story. It's always saga. when someone recognizes me, a waiter or a barista, I feel obligated to tip so much more. Right. They think I'm a celebrity or <laughs> they're going to tell people that guy. But when I, I did this uh, job in um, an acting job in, um, I forgot, like in, in Florida, like Green, uh, St. What's that? Greensboro? Oldest city. The oldest city. Uh, Miami. No, no. It's more north. Uh, but, Jacksonville. Tampa, Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Jacksonville. Chatsworth. Kissing me. Something. But um, Cause Greensboro. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> excuse me, and Jacksonville. So what happened was this was one of my first times being. This was like 1998, and I'm by myself at a you know I forgot like a beefsteak Charlie's or whatever it's called or a I don't know beefsteak what called. Wow. beefsteak Charlie's. You know it's funny because we have the the bootleg ones over here at Charlie Brown's. It'd be like we were in Charlie's Frisco. Real. There was a fisting club. You know after whatever TGI. Charlie's. It was it was TGI. Yeah. <laughs> was there really a fisting yeah, club in San Francisco? Do you remember the address? <laughs> <laughs> what was it's the address? 69, 69. Maybe it was on 1st and 5th. Right there. But so, douche. So I was at like a TGIFs. And this woman made the, the fudge like iron. Michael Jordan walked in. Like What? You know, she, she made it like I was Michael Jordan. Oh. Like, probably the biggest celebrity that ever came in. Some, I can't believe that you're in my TGIFs. And, Blood you know, <laughs> dumb and dumber. We watch it over and over. Get you know, off the I'm, phone. I can't believe you're sitting here. So first, you know, and I didn't have the money I have now with the pension and handy manny, you know. And so I tipped uh, probably over 20%. Then I drive my rental car back to my hotel and I'm like going... I'm like so neurotic going, I was the biggest celebrity she'll ever see in her life and I feel I didn't tip enough. So I go, I drive back, get on the highway like, and bang on the door. They're closing. I go, okay, you want another five? And she took it. <laughs> That's so pathetic. She took another five. <laughs> I raced back. I must have been a, a 30 minutes out. <laughs> He's I an anomaly. We should, way back. We I should pull out. I give her. I said, "You want a one dollar or two? <laughs> you can How about crypto? Two. Take two. <laughs> this is like we should do an act like the Sklar brothers when they finish. Oh my each god, other those off. dudes are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> or the Jimmy and Joey, or Jimmy. And Jimmy. I saw him get roasted at the at the those Patricia Neal roast, bro. Oh my god. Uh, Bill Burr said, "Do you guys both gotta be up there? <laughs> <laughs> you both have to be up there." Today? You know what I hate? You know what I don't like about Postmates? Seriously, tell us. Rizzo. I eat. I, I mean, I'll Stop eat your touch of my product. Fries. No, I used to, I got fired from Postmates. Well, well, I eat the fries. You know, I, 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 I don't want to. <laughs> you know, not tip them because it's their job and stuff. But when it's you, I don't I like just you, say I don't know how to tip. I don't on like this. that you leave the tip before they come because oh, I'm generous and then, you know, they, the guy calls me up. Oh, I won't let my girlfriend enter your building. Are you disabled? If you're not disabled, come down. Oh, shit. So it's like I feel bad that we're trying to work, but I, I don't tip and give a low rating. I feel it's hard. It's really hard for me not to tip. They got to, like, someone will be, have the worst service, and then I go, all they have to do is when they give me the check, go thank you, and they get some tip. But then no, and they slam it down. 
Right. No it's not standards. Funny, but it's informative. Any questions? Do people write in? <laughs> <laughs> there are. Let me see. What are people saying? Me, I don't bitch. This I don't. Funny. Me, I, I, I guess. They like that you're the wrench. Yeah, they say they like you're the wrench. Oh, any comments? Handy we got the man. wrench here. Oh, that was the only Spanish I knew from Handy Manny. Lo siento, muy guapo, necesito. Hi, I'm Manny. <laughs> There's new date. What's that? <laughs> Get naked in this room. Oh, how do you say in Spanish? Desnudate. Desnudate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you bitch, desnudate. Yeah. Well, that's do, that's like Brazil. doing the bad Italian. Hey, I wanna, you bro, know. Bro, give us some fresh toilet, bro. Hey. It's like your little son next to you, Fred, huh? <laughs> right? He's like your little puppet of Shopton. <laughs> that's Jose O'Yang. Yo, Jose absolutely. <laughs> With the teeth. The teeth. <laughs> That tate, that's What's cool. going on with you, Freddie? That's huh? the only impressions I could do. It's other people doing impressions. You got the comfortable you shoes, know, I right? I could do Christopher Walken do it. with me in um, Joe Dirt. Did you do see it. Joe Dirt? No. Love that one. I go, that's Joe Dirt. Shut up, you hard on. <laughs> no. Uh, taxi cab. Like he emphasizes different syllables. Not taxi cab. Taxi cab. No. Shut up. It's Joe Dirt, you hard on. That was my scene. Look it up. <laughs> look, it up. look it up. Philo, look it up. Dirt scene. Joe Dirt scene. Joe Dirt scene. Joe Dirt scene. Can you reply to those screen. messages? Can you have them by my Kindle? <laughs> I don't think you can text your flip phone. I'm a chemistry Joe. teacher and Joe Dirt. Wait, listen. You'll hear hmm? what? I'll tell my favorite Norm story. Yeah, I want to watch the scene and tell me I was close. And when he made you pay for all the Ubers. I, I need to look it's it up right now. LA story. But I got my own version right here, too. Put it to the mic, dog. Scene with Joe D Christopher Walken. Scene with Christopher Walken. That's him. It's him right here. Who is he? <laughs> That's him dancing. That's Christopher Walken. Yeah. But I could do. Wait, listen. Listen to the scene. I could do him. There you go. Wait, no. We'll wait for the Joe to wait for the uh, me acting with Christopher Walken. This is. You'll see how good I did it. There it goes over there. You can't make it bigger. Oh. Oh wait. Philip got it. Okay. Oh, you got it. Calculations are correct. This will create ice. Oh no! Killer monster death. That kid is Theo Vaughn when he was younger. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do? But Andrew said oh. to me, go, the dude. You're talking to me all wrong. It's You're talking to me all wrong. wrong. Tone. You do it again. I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. Wait, wait. Is that right? Let me ask you something. Eh? Wait a minute. Does your mother sew? What's going on? Wait, I thought... Boom! Oh! This, this is Joe Get Dirt. <laughs> Wait, this is another something L.A. Else. story, right? <laughs> this is Joe Dirt. So you're just watching something on Netflix. I think it's an early well, They cut me out of the movie. Uh, there was a scene <laughs> where I was with him, I swear. <laughs> I swear, boo. I wouldn't make it up. <laughs> my mother... Or maybe I, I didn't. <clears throat> my, 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 <laughs> I, I you're a rascal. Kind of it's crazy. Um, see, my uh, mother was a very nice woman, and I don't want to say anything bad about her. But when I was a teenager, she would, you know, she'd make me go put the deodorant on every four hours or something, I and I did sweat a lot. But you know, no. Um, so what was the question? You wish. Oh, <laughs> I wish she taught me about deodorant and shaving. I wouldn't be cutting myself. I'd be meeting more women. I didn't know about belts till I was forty. <laughs> just have a belt. <laughs> I, uh, but you didn't know about belts? I didn't know. You're just holding your I pants thought I was so stupid. I didn't know about. Uh, I didn't. I didn't know about white black socks with dress shoes. I wear white socks. <laughs> I, I, thought, I, I, I thought belts. Were, I thought belts Let kept it. your pants up. They'd fall down. I got my pants weren't falling down. What do I need a belt? Get naked quicker. It sounds like something you'd make up, but I thought that. And now I'm to whip a girl. Um, mm. But it, to whip yeah. a girl? <laughs> no, but, uh, <laughs> but things are belts going got it, When you wear a belt, it has to match the or or coordinate with the with your with your dress but, shoes but, your tie, and right? your socks got to match your tie or your shirt, and your underwear 
has to be black because it's gonna be a long night. You don't want to leave skin oh, marks. Oh, if I that wore night. black underwear and you put it in front of a black light, whoa, I would go to jail or something. <laughs> One of my jokes, burn bank, baby. What I did in the early. It, it didn't go over too good. My mother, I forgot if I'm doing residue. It right. My mother um, <laughs> ran me up with a truck just to see if I was wearing clean underwear. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. It's one of my first jokes. Yes. <laughs> she had a truck. I, I she did was a broad woman. <laughs> but Born I on Broadway. Bad jokes like that. <laughs> my father. No, we never had a dog, so my father used to urinate on the couch. <laughs> I would take his head, I'd rub it in the couch. Naughty. <laughs> Stupid jokes. Um, Classics. I, uh, what, what happened to you and um, what's her name? Kathy Griffin. Oh, well, you know, I just, you know, we don't get along. You know, she we cut never your got head along. Off too. She cut my head off, you know, but, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, she's she's doing so well. She's got a big house, you know, for me. I just, you know, I'm just happy to, you know, be able to get, a, you know, a, one of those. It's it's the San Francisco ice cream sandwiches, which I love. Um, the most pathetic character. I but, hope I'm not um, that much like it. But uh, you know, it's it's good. You know, it's just trash, just man. trying to build up the Postmates reserve, <laughs> so I can get you know if I want a grilled chicken sandwich with avocado or you know sesame. Pesto. This does, this it sounds like Dustin Hoffman now. Your Dustin Hoffman impression. No, he's deeper. I am Dustin Hoffman. Oh, I am. <laughs> Give us a rain, man, bro. I just started doing edibles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ripped. <laughs> That smile is great. You wanna, you wanna, you what wanna... movies or what movies or TV shows are you watching? watching um, the some gemstones. The Royal Righteous. Gemstones. Righteous Gemstones. Love that, that show. Good? On HBO. Euphoria, baby. Not yet. I worked baby. with her twice. Single drunk Ooh. female. Sunday? Yeah, I worked first on a, a show called Shake It Up with her and Bella Thorne, a stone or something, and then a show, another Disney show, Casey Undercover. He was just. Teen tween shows, but uh, she's so. Did you big see now. the Did you see the Cosby documentary? The one on Showtime. Yeah. No, I, I saw right. one episode. I fell asleep. It's, it, hey, oh, it's what? real great history <laughs> that he fought for black stuntmen. They didn't exist before him. Whoa. The whole history of Dick Gregory. I, I thought it was good. I, uh, Is it on Hulu or what? Showtime. 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 Of course, my mother loves black men. You know, even more than my father. You know, she had a Sammy Davis poster. How about your sister? <laughs> my sister. Oh, yeah. My sister lives in Toledo, and she's not happy. She bakes a lot. You know, she's sort of depressed. You know, I think if. You know, it's just, you know, it's not easy sometimes. And it's, you know. Fred, when you were doing stand-up comedy, Fred, and there was a lot of drug, it was like a, a big coke scene um, where comedians hired because they had good <laughs> drug connections or they I sold coke. I only tried coke once or twice in the catch basement. And there was, I, I only did it, uh, there was this guy, I was like, you know, believe it or not, very depressed. It was Bowser. And, and Didn't you was, sneeze the first time? <laughs> no, no, no. I was very depressed and... These guys would come every night to see Catch, these weird people. What well, well, comedy club? Or? Catch a Rising Star. Oh, yeah. This Look guy, he looked park. like, you know, um, I, can't, I can't think of the actor, like Wilfred Brimley, but he was bald, like a big older guy. Bush Escobar. With his, uh, with his daughter. And I go, I'm not doing good. I don't know if I'll make it. He goes, we're going to give you money, help you out. So he once came down to the basement to give me twenty dollars, and I was doing oh, coke. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I, oh, okay. <laughs> I tried it. I didn't like it. But actually, in the eighties, the, the reason I never did weed till a few years ago was, you try it, and oh god, I know he, he's going to do this. You get a sore throat because it wasn't sophisticated like it is now. Right? You just get paranoid. But now you know they know how to do it. That's why I was thanking Joe Rogan for taking the stigma away. Go ahead, bro. So I, I never I did. I I'm never did to call weed security, or, dude. I only got drunk once or right? twice. So I never really did drugs in the eighties. We do, dear Rogan's more. Dude, I told him, dude, you step back or I'm going to have some Navy SEALs put you in a headlock. <laughs> dude, that's perfect. Because right? Fred Stoller walked up to him and told him, thank you about everything he did for weed. Tell him that, bro. Well, you know, I just, you know, you, you, you changed my life, you know, <laughs> before I was, you know. Dude, get it together, dude. Oh, but, you, oh, you must be kidding. You know, it's hard to tell when you're joking, you know. Are you, are you doing your podcast right this now? This is your cocksucker. 
dude. Start working the mess out time right here, cocksucker. I gotta go do another podcast, bro. <laughs> I mean, you just you, you know you know this is the kind of thing that you do, and I you know it's you know I'm just glad that I can you know smoke a little pot and you know get some Postmates. <laughs> you need some supplements, dude. Marcia Mears have been quiet this whole time. About where this. did we I'm meet? Listening, dude. It's where high. did we meet first? Was it just I, opening for you at Flappers? Mm -hmm. Well, we, you said the you guy who set me up. Somewhere, right? No, the guy who set me up was um, Alabelle. not Alabelle, but a friend. Who was Alabelle's friend? Um, it was Chuck. one. Chuck. Chuck Bartel. Chuck Bartel. Oh, yes, oh. yes. Another classic guy. Minneapolis's yes. finest. Yes, and uh, then I think the first time I worked with you was Flappers. Flappers. I, that Flappers made me quit comedy the second oh, time shit. I tried it. I was there <laughs> that weekend. You bust tables or what? Uh, well, they just want me to work the Yoo Hoo room, <laughs> or the, the Yeehaw room, or Dave and Barbara. Well, what happened uh, was, you know, the, just don't, you know, the place was weird because. I couldn't figure out why it was just me, Darren Carter, and people oh I never God, heard the of party before. Starter. So, like, it turned out it's almost like Scientology. That place. It's like uh, somebody see my. You know, you take the classes with the husband, or you you bring eighty seven <laughs> people. Classes in, with the husband. You know, bro. and then you get stage you know, time. Scientology, he dog. Like, <laughs> he seems like he's never Scientology. had Scientology. It's like it's like a big open mic place that that pretends it's a, a comedy club. It's just <laughs> an open mic place. Pool. You know, <laughs> you think you're, you're in a comedy a... club, and the problem with the Yuhu Room, speaking of, is you do well, drink, but right? it, it doesn't count because it's every comedian brings seventeen people, so they're gonna go, yeah, Jeremy's trying it, he's great. So then I get up there, I look like you know a Richard Pryor and stuff. So even though they were doing well, <laughs> it, it doesn't mean anything. And you lie with the polka nose. So, I'm up there. They think it's Teddy too Murphy. many liberties, huh? So then what put me over the edge was... This um, fool said Richard Pryor. Huh? I'm getting no money, and I'm opening for Darren Carter, who... Darren, it's like... Uh, yeah, on top yeah. of the world, Mom. He goes, yeah. Oh, I love Burbank. I love it. Everything's great. Yeah. This is my Darren Carter impression. Did somebody <laughs> see my flashlight? So, so, so what happened was... Um, he so brought good. merch for that set too, huh? He got what? He brought merch huh, to sell for that oh, show. Oh, yeah, he would sell stuff. He sells yeah, wigs, right? Did you get that. paid? No? No, I didn't get paid. Carter, so was, damn. You didn't even give me the standard fifty dollars? No, no. So uh, what's going on? Burgers? Here? Uh, Let's yeah. bomb the place. So so what happened was like I'm not getting paid. And then I'm um, like um Friday night, again, I thought I was doing okay. You know, so then the next night I'm there, <clears throat> this guy comes in. Uh, you know Greg Hahn, is that his name? Yeah. He's, he's a funny, tall, good-looking guy comes in. He's he funny as fuck. I'm here to uh, pick up the energy from Fred. Like, like to what? make up for him. He announces that. Oh, like, like he's driving around like Batman. Rrr, rrr, emergency. Right. Fred Stoller is low key. <laughs> we need Greg Hahn, superhero. He throws he water to on bat himself. Bat from Bob and Tom. He's eh? the most high energy guy. Flaps on the floor like yeah, a fish. Yeah, he he, he wets himself. He wet. Yeah, he he wets pisses his sides. He pisses himself. He spits at people. You know to What's make his name? up for Greg me. Hahn? Greg Hahn, bro. bro. He's an animal. So so it's like. Wait a minute. <laughs> Two things put me over the edge. Wait a minute. Did they? I, I got to get the low key humil humiliation, like we got to make up for him for no money. So then I'm at the ice house. And you know, I'm not a drinker or anything. So I said, uh, You're a weed smoker. Could I. Uh, could I have my drink coupons? And he goes, I gave it to you already. I go, I I'm this like nickel and dime comic that's trying to, you know, scam those. They look like ski ball tickets. Like, you know, I'm trying to get more uh, <laughs> drink. <laughs> 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 like, uh, <laughs> what are we at? Like, Chuck E. Like, Cheese how here? Old am I, how old am I then? We're at Coney Island here. This is too <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Right I would say I'm Ferris trying to get wheel. more free ski ball tickets <laughs> for another drink. Like, no, I, I, I'm past that. <laughs> what, are you, what are you selling them? Hey, yeah. man, like some motherfuckers don't do their homework, huh, dog? I guess what? Like, dude, this is like a pro comedian, a fucking yeah. legend. It's like you get treated like a fucking oh, bag got, of whiskers. Dude, there was there was a, a guy, a bouncer that used to work at the Improv. He didn't know who uh, Louis C.K. was. It was like oh in 2014. The random ball guy, huh? He didn't let him go in. And he was like, dude, like you can't just, you just can't just come in and hang out. And well, then dude, he was like, all right, cool. What? And then, uh, For real? Yeah. So that, I think, uh, what's her name? Rita was like, what? Was that that they was Louis? Where'd he go? They got mad at him because he didn't know who the fuck. You know, it's just like he's a GM. He now. came in just to stop by and probably do like a little guest spot. You know, some guy did that too at the Laugh Factory, bro. He kicked out um, Joe Pesci out, bro. Oh, fuck! Oh, wow. How do you not know from Home Alone, dude? He told him, "I don't give a fuck. This ain't good, fella. You can shut your ass up or get out." Was it Randy? 
No, it was a, a red-headed comedian, red-headed security guard. Oh. But back in the days. You know the who the first youths. bouncer at the... Um, Danny Aiello. Uh, at the uh, Laugh Factory was. Joey Diaz. No, uh, Alonzo Bowden. What? He was a bouncer there. He looks yeah. like a bouncer. Yeah. He's still bouncing. Bro. Grab you with yeah, those yeah, big-ass yeah. hands, huh? <laughs> what are you doing now, bro? You look like you got notes, <laughs> like I'm interrupting. What what my, it's saying? my ad. What's up, everybody? Speaking of that, thank you for reminding me, man. This week's episode is sponsored by um, Postmates. I wish <laughs> they would have to be a free, it's actually sponsored by Freeze Pipe. Woo. And um, I got a Freeze Pipe, Fred. If we had a Freeze Pipe, I would give it to you. It's a pipe that mm-hmm. you put in a refrigerator, and it freezes. So when you, every time, but what you, if you forget to take it out? No, you won't take it out, man. <laughs> no you you freeze it, man, and you get like a cool cold hit Ooh. instead of burning your throat oh, like he was sounds, talking about. That sounds too crazy for <laughs> you me. You could enjoy monster <laughs> hits without going, ah. Oh, it sounds like a r- roller coaster ride. Our it? smoke passes through that gold chamber, bro, to give you that like smooth it. taste <laughs> that everybody likes. I'm nervous. Check out the freezepipe.com <laughs> and use code FOO for 10% off <laughs> of anything in the store. Enjoy icy savings on a ton of products with code FOO for 10% off. Anything in the store, that's freezepipe.com, thefreezepipe.com, promo code FOO. I used it, and um, the guys that we had on the show, Tropa Magica, he posted it up. Thank you very much, bro. It's a good pipe, man. If you like smoking on good pipes, and if you don't want to smoke the the ones that break, it's actually a, a real solid pipe, man. It won't break on you like most pipes. Was was just like you know something you break a pipe and it breaks all over and you gotta sweep it up. Yeah. This actually breaks in two big fat pieces, so you don't gotta sweep it up that much. You can super glue it back together if anything. Yeah, but it's frozen, <laughs> so it's really ice. You have one, right? No, you didn't give me one. Or you can't improvise and say you have one. All right, <laughs> you have one, right? I have two, bro. I have five actually. <laughs> give me you, one. You bro. like it, right? My mom likes. She it. She gave real like one, it. bro. I'll he needs one. one. Fred, you got one, right? No, no. Say yes. Oh, you're supposed to say yes. <laughs> I'm supposed to say yes, but you know, it's like, but I didn't get one. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> but you're gonna make one. But you're gonna make one out of that Corona bottle. So fuck it. That's a big ass Corona bottle. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fool? Anybody, you've been to Tijuana, brother. You ever tell us sell you a bong made out of Corona bottle? They're no, wacka. dude. Caguama, uh, don't they sell you a bong made out of those uh, fucking uh, those piggy banks? Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck yeah. yeah. You, like, I actually, swear, fool. That's a funny nah, video. Nah, I'm not that. fucking with you. They have those little, the old school little bowls on them. <clears throat> that's a funny video if you do it like that, you know? Ks, ks. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, uh, freeze, thefreezepipe.com. Don't forget to use code FOO and get that 10% off of all their products. And if you, there's something that you don't have, tell them and they'll make it for you. Thank I could, you. I could never smoke out of a, even a porcelain pig, you know, because it's not, you know, kosher. <laughs> some, some some it, bro. I don't know um, if, if it, Jeff Richard was with me, but we were smoking at the comedy store once, and we had just borrowed um, that guy Dan Barris, Dan Don, Don Barris. Don Barris. Yes. We just borrowed his pipe, and it was brand new. And um, he was leaving with what's her name, his weed friend, right? The girl with the dress, Mary Jane. Mary Jane. And they were about to do that show, and I had just run into him. He was with another guy. <laughs> he goes, yeah, man, don't lose it, man. He hits it. I hit it. I pass it to the next guy. Breaks on the floor. Damn. And we had to fucking out pitching five bucks. And I remember I went back all sad, bro. I'm so sorry, man. We broke your pipe, but here's like $40. Buy a new one. And that won't happen with freeze pipe. Okay. Oh, bounce and then boom, boom. <laughs> That's why, bro, you're, on the, you're the co- co-host <laughs> of, the, of the century. Still cool. <laughs> So Still you've been cool. on the road? Yes, bro. Uh, we were in Joliet, Illinois last week. We did a show at the Rialto Theater. And the Alto Theater been around for 100 years. The Marx Brothers performed there. It was, it's um, on Route 66. Yeah, it was. National Landmark. What theater did we perform at where like the, the st- three studios used to perform there? It was like in Napa, I remember. When it was raining, that crazy uh, rainstorm. Yeah, it was Napa. Yeah. At Santa Cruz. I remember it was leaking. That's just crazy. I dude. remember the owner of the of the theater kept calling scared. She said that um, yeah, she, called me like five she called Lisa five times. I don't know. We're gonna show man, the power might go off. We might get flooded. This theater floods. When they got to the show, I told, listen, man, this show is sold out. Yeah, it's gonna be eight hundred 
Mexican Americans, Salvadorians, Nicaraguanos, a couple of East Indian guys. I'm pretty sure one of them is gonna be a fucking plumber. <laughs> you know, we'll yeah. fix this fucking theater. What the pandemic how, yeah. how But would he remember to bring his tools? <laughs> how handy mandy, baby. Did it take a while for them to sell out again or did he not sell out? Do you um, sell them out? As soon as the pandemic started slowing down, and I'm not speaking. I'm speaking for myself and for everybody else that's been touring. They all been sold out. Everybody's been selling out. It seems the like crowd is back. They want to go out, man. They want to go out. They want to spend money. People miss being uh, hoes no. out there. And no more masks, right? I'll wait, say wait, masks. wait, wait. I'm a little nervous. So, uh, no, I'm scared to death. What do you mean nervous? <laughs> Better Seriously, get boosted. you're all to vaccinated, jump off a right? bridge. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're all vaccinated. Except Philip, he's not vaccinated. You're not vaccinated. Okay. Keeping it real. Right. He has one vaccination, right? Yeah. But um. All right. Well, yeah, but he was um. He had two broken arms during that pandemic. He didn't go outside. Oh, I didn't go outside for different reasons. You Did know. you catch Corona? What? Did you get Corona? <laughs> oh, what is that? No, Omicron. that's why I'm nervous now. I've been very careful, and we everybody here has got it three times. I got, I got it like I every strain. I got it, and we were all together in a plane, and we smoked. And he didn't get it, and he didn't get it, she didn't get it. But I had a I had a fever of one hundred one point five. After so wait, is it show. true with the antibodies? You don't get it twice, or you've had it twice? You think you get it mildly? You get it mild. If you get a fever of one hundred and one, you're gonna live. Don't go to the hospital. So you're gonna you, waste wait, money. So now you're pretty sure you all have the antibodies. Does everybody, I'm positive. Have, does everybody have the antibodies? <laughs> does anybody have any creamer? <laughs> I mean, um, no, I've been, I, I did a few TV shows where they, they, uh, they kept interrupting the production because people were testing positive. The mayor. No, I did two shows, um, Raven's Home <coughs> and a, oh. a Nickelodeon show. And, and I, I didn't want to lose the job because I tested positive because I'm replaceable. So I've been <laughs> very, very, very careful. So now this is as reckless as I've gotten. Uh-oh. I literally had myself duct taped to the... the the tub <laughs> been in the shell bro <laughs> just and i had you know the postmates guys they could just come in <laughs> but they have, all have keys <laughs> <laughs> they all have keys <laughs> i mean it makes me sound more pathetic than i really am but rizzo give us a southern accent um. Oh. Um. Fuck. I don't. I can't think of fucking. Uh, who, Damn. Yeehaw. <laughs> All right. Thank <laughs> you, man. You Thank you, bro. My friend Jimmy O'Yang. I'm a little bit of country. I turned I'm a little bit of rock and roll. Party. <laughs> <laughs> you just started an album. This is bro. more risky. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out that banjo, bro. Thank you, brother. Go southern accent, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna get uh, tested tomorrow. I'm a little nervous. For uh, parades. <laughs> for parades. <laughs> Yeah, I'll man. Be here um, all week. Tried the patana potion. <laughs> I think I've um, I have the whatever, man. I, I, I got lucky, man, because we met like we hugged and kissed thousands of people last year, right? You didn't get it till the beginning of January. Yeah, at the Ontario Improv. Ontario but I probably Improv. got it from Rachel Wilson or Matt Dave, Matt Edgars. He didn't have it. I'm just kidding. How did whoever. you not get it, Lisa? It, I'm it's very like, quiet. That, that was like the most dangerous thing uh, Rachel uh, comedians happened were to getting her. So <laughs> much. Huh. She was worried about getting it because of her oh, um, jackass. jackass. Yeah. Dude, she's blowing up, man. She could be going to, she's getting um, a lot of auditions. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. I told her, just get a book deal. Who's who? Yeah. Rachel Wolfson. Or even better, a Kindle deal. <laughs> it's no deal, you just sign up. <laughs> <laughs> you just sign up It's it not hard You gotta give them You gotta come up with The you know, how password many, How you know? many books Do you have out there On Kindle I got one My Seinfeld year And you know you know, I've got others That I'm working on But you know Right now I'm just You know Just doing the one I'm just doing the cameos Focusing on the cameos So <laughs> Focusing <laughs> I got all my attention On the cameos <laughs> You're killing on cameo who, who, Who's killing more You or Kevin From the office Probably Kevin from the office, but you know that's that's not really the point. You know, you're taking jabs. Some Kevin, him. bro. You're having uh, you're having fun. Oh, I don't know how to do that, fool. Hey, Mike, <laughs> Michael. Give him some M and M's. M and M's. No, eat them, bro. Kevin from the office when you get the fucking M and M's and eat some, bro. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, and eat All right, some. I remember that M and M. Give us some, give us some fucking Stanley, bro. Stanley, uh, Michael. 
<laughs> I know, right? I mean, I've never done impersonations. <laughs> You're doing them now, dog. I, I can do a snake from The Simpsons. <laughs> Whoa. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Instagram. Give me one more, bro. Uh, put it on Instagram. The Keanu Reeves. Oh. Felipe. Oh, whoa. Hey, bro. Oh, shit. Festoner, give us some, some Ray Romano. What are you doing? Is that, you mean an impression? Yeah. Hi, Fave. Wait, how do you do this? Oh, live. I'll get you more viewers. That's a nice phone, man. I got the uh, 13 finally. Whoa. That's a I bad one. I don't know what it number. does, but um, uh, someone. <laughs> <laughs> the last phone was uh, Nokia, huh? <laughs> you had a flip phone, right? No. No, I think that was like no. Joe. Uh, no, you had, a, you had a phone with a. That's with a Larry. He was carrying it, bro, like this, like a 1990s drug dealer. I had dealer. one of those, but you can't get the 5G with that thing, so <laughs> I got rid of it. Yeah, do you remember when there was like Circuit City and that's where you'd get a phone and yeah. you know you'd go yeah a long time ago. Circuit. I'm I'm a, I'm doing Instagram Live for people. But, What's up, for people? But you're killing oh, no. it on TikTok. I see your stuff on TikTok a lot. I quit TikTok. What? It's you, you get addicted. You're just scrolling and everyone. Hey, I like Trump. You pussy. That's what it looked like. Yeah, you know, and just the name, it's like, you know, TikTok. It's like, you know, it's like counting down. It's like I only have so much time to do it. It's only Trump or chicks, right? Yeah, Trump and... Uh, Big Woody chicks or Trump. I keep looking and looking and the, the, the new <laughs> dancing stuff was ridiculous. I'm funny right now, bro. I see Fred Stoller on, on um, Instagram. I see your no on TikTok. On TikTok. He's killing, Let's he's, see right now. I see your stuff all the time on the for you page. I, I was putting it on. You're, and you're um you have a blue dot. A, a I, blue got, tag. I get verified. I'm, yeah, 1.4 million views. Whoa! I, I got it for my gravestone. I'm gonna be verified. A check mark. <laughs> my uh. Fred Stoller, bro. Face swaps. Face swaps. Oh my God. 96,000 followers. Whoa. I was really into it for a while, but then I would go live and, hey, how you doing, Fred? How you doing? They just go, how you doing? And then uh, it got, it got old. That was two days ago. <laughs> get off the phone. You just call it get off the phone shirts. Ivan Reitman, uh, when he died, I put up my scene from Junior. You're in the movie Junior? Yeah, that's Junior. That movie's oh, so ahead of its that's time. Cool, Guys giving bro. birth? Yeah. A lot of things I've done have been ahead of their time. <laughs> like the uh can't think of an ex funny example well just my mother you know she was always very you know an omnipresent factor you know the kitchen had to be just right or what? you know she would get upset you know <laughs> because I, you know when you... no a true story with my kitchen how how nuts my mother was we had a dog called bon bon poor bon bon and like so they put new tile in the uh, kitchen and you weren't allowed to walk on it till um you know, it dried. So Bon Bon, as usual, walked through the kitchen. She started hitting him. Bad, bad. She's looking like, what did I do? I always walk through the kitchen. All right, <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny sad. Poor Bon Bon. Is she still? Yeah, like the dogs look what? I'm walking through the kitchen <laughs> and she's smacking him. How old is Bon Bon now? Well, Bon Bon's long, long dead. Oh, sorry. But when he was, he had been gone, gone. I still have the bones, you know, up in my closets. <laughs> but it's you know, neither, neither here nor there. I don't have a box for it. But you know. he's like a combination ashes. of Tony Perkins and yeah. Rain Man. It's uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, I have ten people now. Oh shit! Moving up in the world. Yes, Instagram. What's up? This week I'm gonna be in Corpus Christi, Texas, February 18th through the 20th. February 24th to the 27th, I'll be at Charlotte, North Carolina. Feb April 1st to the 3rd, Phoenix, Arizona. April 8, 9, and 10, Tacoma, Washington. Woo. Can't wait to go there. April 14, 15, and 16, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Get tickets at FelipeWorld.com. I'm coming to a lot of places, man. If you go to my Instagram, all the dates are there. I'm coming to Nebraska. And I'm coming to a lot of places. I'm coming to your mom's house, all right? So oh, she can't get to my know. mom's house because she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> let her know, man. I'm bringing a big shovel. What would it be like if he was a guest? Uh, but no one, well, the people, he's just this. Would it, would it be funny on its own? Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. If you don't know who I am? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Hilarious, dude. The look at you go, why are you ready? 
Roddy Piper doing Fred Stoller. <laughs> Roddy Piper came back. <laughs> Oh. What's up, everybody, man? What's up, Rodrigo, man? You, up, you did your DNA back in the day, right, with us? Yeah, yeah. What, 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 was, what right? was the biggest percentage? I don't know. Native? No. Nah. Native. Yeah, native. Mine was 39% native. Yeah. Uh, Rodrigo's was like 32. I don't know what you're talking about. The DNA. We did our ancestral DNA. Oh, 23 me. I'm actually 3% Polynesian. <laughs> I see that. That's why I have <laughs> such soft eyebrows. <laughs> See. It's funny, man. Some people who who um who claim like, oh, I'm Mexican this, I'm Mexican that, and they do it. It's all European. Fifty four European. Yeah. Forty nine European, and and then like they try, they still won't admit it, bro. They say colonize. I'm all colonizer blood. No, bitch. You are the colonizer. I, I need to do mine. I want to know what I am. You are a little boy, bro. <laughs> Twenty three and me. They're not like binary, a... bro. Like you say. <laughs> Twenty three and me sounds like a porno, bro. I, um, mm -hmm. It is a porno. I have it. <laughs> there was a friend of mine. Uh, she had a sitcom a few years ago, and she she was excited. She wanted me on it, but she's very Christian and just likes wholesomeness. Then Reba, no, and oh. she showed uh, me on Norm Macdonald and got so disappointed. I talked about Kathy Griffin, and and she almost got mad at me. But it's not a good story. <laughs> just sometimes I. <laughs> The premise is good, and I want to hear more of the story. And hey, whatever happened to um, when I was talking to you and Norm McDonald on the phone, and I was telling Norm McDonald about um, that place to get money for your out al for your comedy albums. What's it called? Oh, uh, Sound Exchange. Sound did baby. he ever fill, fill, fill it out, or did he know about it, or they make, I, or they plain? I told his uh, producer Lori, um, and she goes, oh, "I think he's already on that. He didn't really know, you know." I think he was already getting money for that. Yeah, you know, I considered it like making a fake comedy album to try to get it, you know, on those things to get money. You should. But, but don't do an al You should do an album because you want to, not because I'm going to make 38 cents, you know. No, more than that. Are you, are you on... That's separate from your album earnings. Well, I would, I would disagree because it's so easy to make more money and pay for Postmates and, you know... <laughs> I mean, I keep Everything saying the same things right. over and over, you know, I, but it's, you know, it's my life. You're right, you you're know? right. Cameo's <laughs> easier. Um, but yeah, Norm, uh, yeah, I briefly had a podcast and Norm called in and you were there, so it was very nice of you. You know, Felipe's, is, is actually people don't know he's a really good guy. People, uh, no, and let me ask you a serious question. Um, no, I, I've yeah. seen your post and stuff. No, have you helped get um, dogs adopted? Because it's yes. very sweet. So he's doing something really good. So people have adopted pit We were going to adopt a dog, but at least got hurt. Yeah. But uh, but you've helped other ones, yeah. so you post get adopted. I help a lot of dogs That's get adopted. So nice. That's cool, man. That's great. There was one dog, bro. I never forget him. They call him, um, what was his name? But he was like an old, ma uh, one of those dogs. It was a, he was a pet bull mixed with this master something. Master, but he's a big dog, bro. He had like droopy eyes. He had a lot of like, um, like a lot of lagaña, a lot of eye boogers. I guess from being depressed, he, he was so sad. I said, I gotta help this, this ugly motherfucker find somebody. <laughs> Cause also, man, a lot of people don't like black dogs, oh, you know. So he was also a, a real dark dog. So, um, dude, like it took like uh, six days. He got adopted, and he oh. went to a farm oh. where they have five other dogs. Oh, two yeah? are blind. So they don't know what he looks like, and um, he's jumping around, <laughs> bro. He's talking like a puppy, bro. Like they said, this guy, they thought he was gonna die. He was giving up on life, and wow. he's running around tail wagging, bro. Let me tell you, man. We take the dogs out of the shelter. They're they're really thankful. Now my first, he's, he, he turned out to be a nice guy, Felipe, because my first impression of him was back at I forgot what club. You were beating up Rich Chastler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making up nonsense. Nah, dog. It's uh, yeah. we we did a show together at the Flappers in 2014. Remember, what? that was the yeah. That's the first time I worked with you. But the first time I I heard about you doing stand up was um, my friend um Edwin San Juan, who's at the Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas all week. Um, he took he did a show with him at the Comedy Magic Club. Oh yeah, well remember when you did that thing? What you do at the Ice House where it's a benefit? And uh, what was that guy's name who was... Uh, Flaco. He, he, yeah, he was like in prison and stuff, like a tough guy. Was Flaco in prison? 
No, not Flacco no. was in prison. Who's the other guy? <laughs> the other guy, the George... guy with the black pants. <laughs> George Press? No. no, no. I, I think, I think he came to the shows when we were in Tahoe. Um, Birdman. 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 <laughs> Me and him were teamed up w with you when there was rotating people. You know, when you did a benefit at the Ice House. Yeah. No, that was our, that was our anniversary show. That was our anniversary show. Oh, all the podcasts. That's our one hundredth episode. But Birdman wow. is a good guy. He, we were Facebook friends. I haven't heard from him. Birdman. Oh, mom away recently. Who, who? Oh, Birdman mom passed away, she man. Passed away. She got buried in an orange and black coffin, bro. Get it real. <laughs> it was a joke. I don't get it. She was a San Francisco Giants fan. Giants fan. Boys fan? Giants fan. Oh. Big but, Giants fan, man. That's right. No, Birdman was at some theater we were at in Tahoe or Reno. I forgot which one. Birdman, the king of showing up with no room. <laughs> Sleep on the floor, dog. Outside, dog. Burger. What's up? What are you still doing your podcast? What's it called? Squad by the Bell. And then uh, me and Rodrigo had the Spanish, the Spanish, the Spanish <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Those podcasts with Norte. How many episodes? Podcasters, we have uh, like 52. 52. And then uh, Squad by the Bell, 150. Yeah. And What's yeah, up, man? everybody? Yeah, man. I have 81 episodes up. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, if you guys are listening, man, Lisa and I, we might bust out a um, Enchilada Casserole podcast Ooh. soon. I don't know when. It's gonna be like a a special, a special one. It's gonna be on more than an hour long. People are unedited. waiting. Unedited, Lisa Esparza. We're, we're talking about the ankle, everything. What's up, What's up everybody? You got shows coming up? Uh, Jeff Richards. I have uh, just Reno in April, but uh, check I'm out my podcast if you want. What's the name of the podcast? It's uh, the Jeff Richards Show, and I and in, uh, interview people as impressions. And it's uh, linktree.com or whatever the fuck. Slash whatever Jeff fuck. Richards. King of the face swap. Give us some Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Me? I don't know how to do that one. <laughs> Me? Yeah. We'll do a random one. Yeah. Yeah. Was it Jimmy Fallon? Yeah. yeah. That's the coolest thing in the world, you know? <laughs> That's so great. How you doing, man? How you doing, man? <laughs> How's it going, man? Come on. <laughs> 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 It's good. so cool to be here. Huh? Willem Shatner, Rodrigo. <laughs> Fuck, I look like a me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal? With... Strawberries. We got to run. He's trying to stand up. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. You. I hope you... <laughs> oh, dude. I know he's like Whoa, Anderson. that's about it. How about Louis Louis that hook, eh? Hey, it's Louie. <laughs> I'm in hell. <laughs> it's, it's hot in here. It's really too hot. You know, normally in, in real life it was too hot anyway, but now it's real hot. Do Louis Anderson throw in the moves on March and Rizzo? <laughs> hey, hey guys, uh, you step back. I'm gonna do something to you. So I might take it. I might just fart. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the, I forgot the story? You had a good one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We well, forgot his pants. The pen. Remember, he forgot his pants. Oh no, no. So when uh, we worked in, um, you see, an opening for Norm. The hard thing is, I was the functional one. I was the one who, like, you know, he take his laptop, you know, in the hotel, <laughs> set it up. You're the tech guy. I don't, you know, but he didn't know how to do Uber, and you know, I'd always have to do Uber. So finally, he said, "Give me your phone. We're doing it in your Uber." Then I see it's not connected to the credit card. So like, I had to be the one, you know cleaning up the mess and uh so we're in uh the place in uh arizona no or denver colorado and he calls me up right before the show fucking he wore sweatpants on the plane because i don't have pants you gotta fucking get me pants what <laughs> size pants are you i i, I got no pants sounds like right hey i got no pants <laughs> and uh, i go mine aren't gonna work on you it's you know it'd be ridiculous so because you gotta get me so i call up the uh the office I guess the I guess the story's only shouldn't go further than Norm forgot his pants. I guess that that's enough. Did he get pants? He he did the whole weekend in sweatpants. Damn. There was no but like mall near. How about, how about when he told you to do forty five minutes? 
Oh yeah, it's it's you know I don't want to. I'm not like this guy who talks ill of the dead of Louis. <laughs> You know, uh, he's hitting on young people. <laughs> oh, I get, I would get so upset. He'd want me to do 45, but I just want to do five. And then, you know, I had to do the credit cards for the Postmates. <laughs> there, were no po there were no Postmates back then. Cool. But, um, but uh, no, I, I miss Norm and Saget. And oh, rest in peace, man. Oh, my God. Did you know Saget? Did you ever meet him? Yeah, man. Um, I, I, I was a grip boy for the Full House show. <laughs> Technicolor. He was as nice as they say. Yeah, I met him one time, man. Him and I had a long talk, and uh, we did a seance, and he talked to my grandma <laughs> for a long time and told her how good I was, you know, that I should not quit comedy. And then uh, I had a, my, I told him that my father was having a, a, in a hospital, general hospital in East Los Angeles, and Bob said, Let's go talk to your dad. He went there? So we sat there and we talked to my dad. You mean on the phone or he went? Right there in the hospital, but he held his, he held his yeah. hand. Oh, yeah, and I didn't even know up. Bob Saget spoke Spanish. He was He's telling my dad up, that. Right? I, uh, to, to, I don't know if he was muy bueno. Uh, he tricked me. Su está muy chingón. It's almost And, and then um, there was these two Mexican, there were these two Mexican <laughs> chicks there. And they were, he goes, you guys remind me of the Olsen twins. And my dad said, that's funny because they're, they're the Alonso twins. <laughs> is that a true story? Yeah. Yeah, it is, dog. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> Let's tell Lisa. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Cha -cha. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Cha -cha. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lisa. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Take him to eat somewhere for. Coming. Thank you, everybody, man, for be, listen, listening Can't to the What's Up okay. with Podcast. <clears throat> Go check out Jeff Richards' podcast. Jeff Richards' podcast. Fred Stoller, he has his old podcast, like six episodes <laughs> from 10 years so, ago. Somebody just said my teeth look like fucking hotel pillows. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Your teeth? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never heard that before. A good one, dog. Good, I'm going to use that. <laughs> I'm going to screenshot that joke. <laughs> My pillows. When is the link up so I can share it? It's on right now. Yeah, man. Okay. Rodrigo Torres, what's up, fool? What up? Lisa, the big five O. Oh. Happy birthday, Lisa. Oh really? 50 years old. No dog. way. Oldest person I've ever been with. Dirt. Oldest person I've been with. Thank you, everybody, for listening, dog. <laughs>